Do you have to leave your broody hen cooped up all by herself while the rest of your flock runs around and enjoys life? Absolutely not. I used to raise broodies by keeping the hen and her chicks penned up away from the rest of the flock and one year I finally learned I didn't have to do that and it kind of changed everything for us. But you do have to make a few special considerations for this to be successful for everyone. So I'm going to share those with you today. First and foremost is space. You need a lot of space for all these chickens to be able to get out of each other's way or you're going to run into problems. In our case, we probably have close to a tenth of an acre, maybe a little more, a little less, fenced in. It is um, like a long rectangular area. And within that, they have all kinds of places to find shelter if they need it, just to get out of each other's way. Different coops and nooks and crannies. So plenty of space can't be stated enough or you're going to run into problems. I have a main coop that my main flock lives in, and then I also have a small coop that I use for a broody hen. It doesn't have to be a big coop, it can be a rabbit hutch, it can be something, but it's somewhere that that broody hen can set on her eggs in peace, but she's still within the flock, and also is a place that the hen can take her chicks at night. So this is where that hen and her chicks will stay. Another thing you want to consider is that a lot of times those babies have trouble following their mom for about the first week. So if there's a big jump at all to get into their coop at night, you are going to be chasing chicks around. And let me tell you, it's not fun. So I build up a contraption. Um, ramps take them a little while to figure out, but I will build some stepping stones of all sorts of just, it looks like a pile of junk, which it really is, but it helps those babies hop up, follow their mom into the coop, which you are going to appreciate after a couple nights of chasing chicks around with a butterfly net. You need to provide food and water. We have used open bowls in the past, something like this, and had a chick drowned in it. It can happen, but it's very rare. So when the chicks are little, like about up to two weeks old, I replace every open water with just waterers around their area so that the chicks don't drown in that. So make sure that everything is safe for these little guys. They are now two weeks old and are getting to the point where I don't feel they're going to drown anymore in a bowl. Um, they could get stuck. So make sure your area is chick proof. You may ask about feeding. When I have a mixed flock in the summer, I just go to an 18% poultry feed that our feed store offers. Um, you can use a chick starter, something like flock raiser, but I just leave that for everyone. Um, for the first week or so, I do feed these little guys chick starter, and I keep it available always in their coop at night once they're by themselves. Otherwise, the rest of your flock is just gonna gobble it down and you're gonna go through a ton of it. I've not had success with mixing these guys with chicks. So I don't know how that works with ducks or geese, but in my experience, these guys want to kind of follow those chicks around and harass them. So I keep them separate. Keep in mind that chicks are small and they will get through small spaces. So if your fence has holes in it, you can guarantee that they're going to get out. So above everything else, you have to consider predators in your area and make sure that safety is first. Not everybody is going to be able to do this. And if you absolutely do not want to take the risk of having something happen, this is not going to work for you. You may also wonder how you integrate these into the flock. Well, they're already used to being seen. There is no big drama involved with that. All the chickens are used to seeing each other. Eventually what happens is mama hen goes back into the main coop with the rest of the flock and leaves her chicks behind. But they already have a coop that they're used to going into. And when you are ready for them to go in amongst the big coop, you just close the door to that coop and they will follow everyone else in. I usually start doing that when they outgrow the coop they're in 
or they're almost full size. It just makes it a little easier. And I've also had hens who take the chicks right in the big coop with her. So sometimes that happens and they do the work for you. Broody hens are definitely worth it. It's so much easier. They are just in the middle of everybody, right in the middle of all the action out there.